What's up guys and welcome to another FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Squad Builder. Today we're doing an 80k League 1 team. Uh, I managed to build this team for I think it was 80,650 coins. So near enough 80, 80k. Uh, start off with goalkeeper. There's only really one we can go with from uh, League 1 and that's Salvatore Sirigu. PSG's goalkeeper. Um, so pretty standard stuff. Centre backs. Uh, I went with Thiago Silva and Inform Marquinhos. Uh, Marquinhos, uh, the only reason I went for the Inform version is it's, it's a bit better than the standard card, um, and the, he just seems a bit. He just seems better, better, more more secure at the back. Uh, Thiago Silva, obviously best centre back on the game, best defender. Uh, he's got the pace. He's a, we all know FIFA's run by. Uh, good defending, good heading stats, and it's six foot. He's not going to be beaten by many players in the air. High defensive work rate, so he's going to always going to be back there helping out. Left back. Now, I went for Bedimo. I tried to get his inform card, but it was just out of the price range for doing a hundred k squad builder. Um, so I dropped it to eighty, and I've gone with his standard card. Um, it's the same with Serie A because League One and the fullbacks, both left and right, are pretty poor unless you get in forms or man of the match cards or team of the seasons. Um, but he's he's the best of a bad bunch. His pace is decent and his defensive and heading stats are all right. So yeah, you've just got to fill in. Now the right back is uh, Mariano. Now again, he's the best of a bad bunch, but Mariano is surprisingly good. Because he's got medium medium work rates, he does track up and down the line really well. Um, when you play the, when you play with this team, uh, again he's got decent pace at eighty eight, and his defensive stats are pretty good as well. All right, onto the midfield. So on the right side of midfield, I went with Jean Moutinho. Um and on the left side, I went with Blaise Matuidi. Now both of these guys have got high high work rates. So they're going to track up and up the pitch to the box to help score, and then they're going to get back as well, which is really important. I think in a four-three-three, you don't want to leave your back four exposed. Uh, Matuidi and well, both of them have seventy-eight pace. Their defensive stats are pretty good as well, and depending on what chemistry style you put on them, you can reinforce them for playing a box-to-box role, holding role, or an attacking role if you want them to do that. It just depends on your style of play, really. Uh, Cam, I went with uh, Mattia Valbuena, playing really well at the World Cup at the minute for France on the right wing, which is probably why he got the inform there earlier this year. Uh, again, I tried to get his inform as well, but that's way out of the price range for a team like this. Um, but his normal card's just as, well, not as good, but it's it's not far off. Um, so it's pretty solid going forward and again with a high medium work rate he's going to be up there trying to score goals but then when you're on the de when you're on the defensive uh, you will watch those deep runners and he does get back and he'll cover for Matuidi or Matinho if they're charging forward left winger I went with Lavezzi uh, right footed winger so he's going to cut inside and get those shots away um, he's also got a four star weak foot so his crosses with his weaker foot are good as well High medium work rate, so he's going to track those attacking fullbacks on that uh, on that wing, and four star skill moves, so he can beat a man as well. Right wing, James Rodriguez again playing really well at the World Cup, more in the centre than he is on a right wing, but still a really good player. Um, again, he all his informs are way out of the price range, but his standard card is still amazing. Uh, for a winger, his pace is pretty low, but you don't really need it because he's got four star skills you can beat a player and with and his shooting is a lot better than the 79 stat tells you um, he's, he's really solid on that right hand side doesn't score very many goals but he does get a lot of assists um, it's the same with Lavezzi really he will get more goals because he can cut in and shoot uh, but Rodriguez is better at cutting in and then just laying off uh, a pass for another player to strike. And then the final position, which obviously with League One you immediately think of Ibrahimovic, but at about one and a half million coins, 
no, you, you, we, that's just not feasible for most people. So I decided to go with Team of the Season Gignac. Now, a lot of people will now question me and think I'm completely insane. I say, why didn't you go for Cavani? Why didn't you go for Falcao? Uh, the simple reason I went for Gignac um, is he's an aerial threat as well as a as well as being good with his feet. He may only have three star weak foot and three star skills, but he's got a cracking strike with his left foot. Uh, at six foot one, he'll beat most defenders in the air. Uh, medium medium work rates means he will track back and hold any runners if you need him to but also when he's going forward because you've got those two wingers charging on down the flanks he'll sit on the edge of the area so your defensive line will track the winger but he'll drop deeper which gives him a perfect chance to pull the cross back uh, to him so he can get a shot away and I mean, if you, you can look at, his, look at his record for me there he's on uh, four goals in two appearances for me at the minute which is, is pretty good so it's an average of two goals a game, obviously, and he's got three assists as well. So he's he's an all rounder strike. He's an all round striker, and he feels a lot faster than eighty pace. His shooting feels a lot better than eighty four. His heading is definitely, definitely better than seventy four. Definitely better than the card suggests, and his weak foot as well is better than the three star. So there we have it. My League One ke- team for eighty k. So recap: we've got Sira going goal, Badimo, Thiago Silva. Marquinhos and Mariano as your back four, Jamutinho, Valbuena and Matuidi as your three in midfield, and you've got Lavezzi, Rodriguez and Gignac as your attacking trio. Thanks for watching guys. As always, if you have enjoyed this be sure to give it a like rating, we're always happy to see your comments down below, and if you are new around here hit that subscribe button and show us, show us your support. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.